Hi YouTube, Natalie here and today I am doing a video on my current situation. So here is my remote learning teaching table, if you will. I set up shop in my dining room and that was about a year and a half ago. <laughs> so I just finished remote learning teaching, I want to say about five days ago, and I am so ready to take a lot of the things that you all see to my school building so that I can go ahead and get back my dining room. So if you're interested, I want you all to come along with me. The plan, if you will, is to go ahead and take a lot of this stuff to school, okay? Let me know if you're a teacher down below and if your remote learning table, wherever you set up, maybe an office, or if you're like me and you set up in a dining room, did it ever get this messy? I'm kind of embarrassed, but I'm more happy that in less than 24 hours, I am going to take care of the situation. So follow along with me and I will see you soon. Woo, so I made it. I am actually at school now and let's see what my classroom looks like <laughs> so I can see what I need to do for today to prepare my students for the summer academy that starts next Tuesday. So let me turn you all around. This is what it looks like when you walk into my classroom. And <laughs> it's nice and bright in here today. Ooh, I feel like uh, I have quite a bit to do. Um, as you all know, I have been teaching remotely for the past year and a half. And so the floors were already done from preparing for the possibility of students returning for the 2020-2021 school year, but that didn't happen. And so this is what I'm dealing with. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I'm going to pop back in once I have, oh, I guess done a little bit of thinking. <laughs> and have decided where to go next. Hmm. So, <laughs> I think mission accomplished. I have spent approximately three hours trying to declutter my classroom and get it presentable for my learners. So let me show you all what I've done. Let's see. So <laughs> I put all the chairs down and that made me feel very good completing that simple task. And then I took all of the things that were inside of those boxes out of the boxes. And let me show you where they ended up. Now, this is not something I am necessarily proud of, but they're off the floor and they're off the student's desk and I have to do a little bit more thinking because if I back up, you guys can see this is still kind of not my style, it's a disaster area. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to be thinking about how I can make that better and more presentable and more welcoming for my learners. Um, but other than that, I would like to go home <laughs> and kind of relax. I still need to take down some of these letters. I was taking this board down. It said super improvers and I'm reimagining how I want to do that. Um, let's see, these posters, I have to go ahead and reposition them. They're falling down. <laughs> and everything else I think looks okay. <laughs> so this is my area where I decided recently to get rid of the desk and use a U-shaped table so that I can meet my learners here. Um, and take a look at this beauty here. If you watch my Kipling videos, that brand new beauty is going to be coming up in an upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. And 
mostly I'm just tired, y'all. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and go home and then get my dining room table together because as you all know, I got a lot of stuff removed from my dining room table since I was headed on back to school. And this is what we're left with. See you all at home. As promised, I am back at home and I have taken the time to clear off my dining room table. And this is what I am left with. I am so happy because it has been over a year and a half since I've seen my beautiful dining room table. <laughs> so I am just pleased with the peace that I feel now that everything is kind of sort of getting back to normal. Thank you so much for watching. Grace and peace.